Okay, in this problem, we have a 400 meter cable attached to a bucket at the bottom of a mine. The bucket has a, four, a weight of 4,000 newtons, and the cable is 10 newtons per meter, so times 400 gives us, the cable is an additional 400. So, again, we need to start with a graph of force versus distance. At zero, we are pulling the entire cable and the bucket, so that's going to be 8,000 newtons. And once we get the cable pulled all the way up, we'll still have to pull the bucket the last centimeter, but we won't be pulling any of the cable. So after we've pulled 400 meters, we are going to be at 4,000. So there is our graph and our equation y equals m is going to be what? Negative 4,000 divided by 400, negative 10 newtons per meter times x plus our starting is 8,000 newtons. So we're going to skip the algebra geometry method and go straight to the calculus here. So we have our formula is f equals negative 10 x plus 8,000. And the first question asks us, they want us to integrate just how much energy does it take to lift it halfway. So our first integral is going to be from 0 to 200 of negative 10 x plus 8,000 dx. So we're going to go negative 5 x squared plus 8,000 x from 0 to 200. Again, we can skip the 0. So we have negative 5 200 squared plus 8,000 times 200. So 4 with 4, 420 with four zeros. And here we have um, 16 with five zeros. So we subtract our 200 here. And one, two, three, five, up, wrong comma. One, two, three, there we go. Now it's lining up the way we want. Minus 200 gives us 1,400 joules. If we solve this from 0 to 400, negative 5 times 400 squared plus 8,000 times 400 gives us 16 times 5 is 80 with four zeros after that. That's still a negative. Here we have 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. Subtract those out, we get 2, 4 joules for the entire lift. So if that's the first half, and that's the entire lift. We could solve this going from 200 to 400, and we should get 1,000, the difference between those two.